How's it going everyone? So in this video, we will be doing a vein workout. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support, it helps my channel grow. Also, please follow me on Instagram, DylanBird999. So the exercise that we're gonna be doing today is gonna be hands behind our back circles. Great exercise to do, we'll do 25 reps, five sets, 125 total repetitions. This is very, very good. And for veins, I always, always recommend high volume, high repetitions. Let's get started. I actually got to stand up to do this. So again, all we're doing is circles, but behind our back. So just like that. So that's 25 reps. Um, one thing to keep in mind is do a full circle. If you're just doing it like this, not like half circles, you're not gonna feel it. You gotta do full circles. By doing full circles, you're gonna feel it all in here. It's gonna make your veins pop out. One thing I wanna tell you guys though, is to get your veins to pop out, you gotta be lean. If you're saying 15 to 20% body fat, chances are you're not lean enough you need to lose body weight to get to about 10% body fat. At 10%, that's the body fat percentage where your abs really pop out, your veins start to pop out really nicely. I'm sitting, I would say at about 12% body fat right now. Um, I was 206 pounds in the morning, today I weighed in 178. So I've got 20, 28 pounds so far. I want to get down to roughly anywhere from 170 to 175. Probably 170. 170 should put me at 10% body fat. And yeah. Um, I am eating two, th I, I've kind of switched up my calories a little bit. I'm eating 2000 calories uh, during work now. Before I was eating 2300 calories for work, now I'm eating 2000. Uh, still on the weekends, the days I don't work, I'm still eating only 2000 calories, which is plenty because I don't do as, well I shouldn't say I don't do as much. I do more videos actually, so I might be burning more calories, but um, again, it's been working pretty nicely for me. Um, if I'm cutting weight on 2,000 calories, that means when I'm done cutting weight and I, I'm maintaining, I can have an extra 500 calories. So that's quite a bit. And to maintain on 2,500 is pretty damn easy. I'm not going to lie. What I'd probably do too when I'm maintaining my, my weight when I get to 170, what I would probably do since I need 2,500 calories to maintain, I'd probably have one day a week where I eat about 3,000 and just really overfeed my body, allow it to kind of catch up, get a little bit more, and then maybe one day I might eat a little bit lower, like 2,300 calories, just kind of balance it out a little bit. Um, maybe thinking about doing that, I'm not quite sure yet, but. Definitely having that extra 500 calories is gonna be really nice. Um, it's like a whole can of chickpeas and like two coffees. So it's definitely quite a bit of calories. And uh, one more set, then we're done. And then uh, that's what I'll be doing for the foreseeable future, just maintaining my weight. I'm not bulking, I'm not gonna be bulking anymore just for the simple fact I've been doing this for 10 years. I've been doing it for a very long time where I bulk, I cut, I bulk, I cut. So now is the time where I'm just gonna maintain. If I go five years maintaining, that's perfectly fine with me. Um, I'm pretty, pretty maxed out for muscle gains. Um, I am a natural athlete. I think I did really, really well in my 10 years. I've added a lot of size to me. Um, I've probably added at least 40 pounds of muscle, which is a lot of freaking muscle. So really can't complain about that. One more set, then we're done.
Okay, end the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, please like the video, share. Please follow me on Instagram, DylanBerg999. Thank you.